educating people that this is possible and that it could be used in, in, in all manner of different things. It's about convincing people, isn't it? And that's not easy at the moment. Yes, right now, um, if you actually calculate the electricity that this generates and to perceive that as an energy saving, the actual uh, benefit that people are going to get is not just about energy saving, but being healthier. What about the scale of it all, though? Because this is what fascinates me. Yes, I mean, you, you can get a wind-up radio. They, they became quite famous yeah. in parts of Africa. I saw something uh, for winding up and charging um, an iPhone. Um, smart cities, where you have moving pavements that generate electricity, where, where you have heat suction devices on the corners of street that could actually take our own human body energy, the warmth that we create, and power entire cities this way. You know, I, I think it's feasible if you look at the technology that's out there. And, and that's where efficiency is so important because the energy that you generate is a commodity and you can value that. And, and so when, when you design a new piece of infrastructure, if it produces energy or harvests energy from its surroundings, you have to be able to justify that the extra added cost for this extra functionality is, is valued based on the you know, extra energy output that you get. Daniel, you, you quite like the idea of smart cities, I think, don't you? Well, I think just to uh, carry on from uh, Kerry's point, the, it's very important to communicate what is the actual true benefit of using kinetic energy. But we've been somehow, you know, historically we have used human power for a very long time. We have a hand whisk, uh, yeah. we push the doorknob. We, we still heavily rely on human power, but we've been indoctrinated to believe that these has been gradually been replaced by electrical motors. And now people are perceiving human power to replace the batteries or some kind of electricity. Um, but but it's, it's very important to communicate the benefit, which is, again, going back to health benefits. Uh, you know, UK government spending 1.6 billion pounds to tackle the uh, physical inactivity related disease. But if we can make people to be aware that contributing your kinetic power, human power, to not only generate electricity, but to bring the society to be more healthier, that is the benefit that we should communicate to people. So it's a win-win? Yes, a win-win system. So I, I use the term double dividend, where not only communicating to people about the cost benefit, but also there's many other potential benefits that people will get by using kinetic power. I'll start with you on this one, Mark, but I, I, it could be anybody. Um, you're all experts in this field. Could you ever see a time when we became net producers of electricity? 